so hi everyone hope uh, you are doing well so in the previous sessions if you remember i was explaining uh, about azure service bus topics right so i even explained you how to create the service bus topics and uh, i even explained you uh, how to send the messages to service bus topics uh, using dotnet core application now uh, and also explain you how to receive messages from the subscribers using azure functions right so in this video i am going to explain you what are azure service bus queues and what are the features that is being provided by azure service bus queue okay azure service bus queue is nothing but a messaging service which was provided by microsoft okay in it, it it even enables you know uh, reliable and asynchronous communication between application as well as the uh, services so uh, simply a queue is nothing but uh, we all know that it's a first in first out so in the same pattern meaning that the messages are delivered in the order they are added to the queue okay the way they ordered they the way the messages are received to the queue in the same order the messages are going to be received by the subscribers okay subscriber fine coming to the features what are the features that was provided by azure uh, service bus queues so one is message durability so message sent to a, a queue message sent to a queue are stored durable it means like ensuring that they are not even they are not lost even in the case of network failures okay and the next point is at least one once delivery it means that service bus guarantees that the messages are delivered at least once so at least once the message should be delivered it is guaranteed by the service bus queues okay next load leveling it means like uh, you know uh, multiple receivers can process messages multiple receivers can process these messages from a single queue okay and allow for load leveling and scaling uh, this is internally taken care the scaling and everything next dead lettering as we discussed earlier as well dead lettering is even supported by the service bus queues i mean messages that cannot be processed successfully after a certain number of uh, deliver attempts uh, they are moved to the dead letter queue okay the same feature is also available in the service bus topics as well so next locking mechanism locking mechanism is also present in the service bus queues it means like you know service bus provide uh, you know lock mechanism during uh, processing ensuring that only one receiver process the messages you know once a message is sent we can lock the messages it, it ensures that the no other receiver sends the Uh, new other issues consume the messages it ensures only one one receiver receives the message so this is a locking mechanism so i'll click, quickly show you how to uh, how to create a, a service bus queue so if you remember earlier uh, we created topics right so in the same way just click on uh, the queues click on the queue tab just give a name for the queue and click on create rest remaining uh, just leave it as it is so it will create a queue for you if you see here i have created a srikant queue okay fine so now i'll show you how to send the messages to the service bus queues using dotnet application okay earlier if you remember we have done this for the, the this is the same code like we have done this for the service bus topics okay now earlier we are using topic client now we are using the queue client that's the only difference okay just go back to the service bus queue okay if you go to the queue we need to copy the uh, connection string go to shared access policies no policies has been set right okay go to shared access policies click on this copy the primary connection string okay go to a dotnet application copy the connection string paste it here next go to the queues just copy the queue name and paste it here this should be the queue name right so this is a service bus queue okay now we'll send a message to the service bus queue we'll check if there are any messages currently in the service bus queue uh 
see here there are no messages there are no actual messages because just now we created this service bus so let's send the message to the service bus queue from dotnet core application so this is a, a simple dotnet core application i just created so i just created an endpoint for service bus just click on the try it out so just do whatever you want like just give some meaningful info shrikant shrikant one one okay fine now click on the execute so once this is done let's wait for the 200 okay response yeah 200 okay response once this is done go back to the service bus queues refresh the session you see this we have one active message here so this is the one with that we published using dotnet core application so uh, this is the one i want to explain you guys like uh, i just created a service bus queue in the azure portal and we we are sending a message to the service bus queue using dotnet core application so in the next series i will explain you how to consume that using azure functions okay so thank you